your view, what went wrong in terms of where the offense struggled today? We just um, didn't put up points. We beat ourselves all in all. I think that's the best way to summarize it. They talk a lot about identity when um, addressing the offensive side of the ball. I know you guys kind of felt like you took a step in the right direction last week. Where do you think that identity sits after a game like today? Got to get back to what works, you know, and don't beat ourselves. I think that's the simplest thing to do. I think we just don't beat ourselves. It makes things a lot easier for us. When you say don't beat yourselves, what do you mean specifically? Penalties, turnovers, you know, giving the ball away, giving them extra opportunities and not capitalizing on our, our, our opportunities. The camera always seems to catch your emotions on the sideline. Mm -hmm. um, how do you channel that back in? When you go back into the locker room and, and you and Sam see each other, is it something that you kind of just leave on the field? No, I mean, I, that's what comes with it, you know? And you know, my emotions, I, I, I know that they most likely going to catch that, so it's not nothing that I'm, I'm hiding from or nothing that I, I'm ashamed of, you know. I'm very passionate, you know, this game means the world to me. And I put my all and everything just like everybody in this locker room does, you know. I wear my heart on my sleeve and, you know, I know this game's not going to last forever, so when things don't go in the right direction, it, it, it hurts me, you know, because I'm only going to get to live this dream one time. What was your main source of frustration after that third play? Just us not putting ourselves in a chance to, to win and, you know, try and make a comeback. Do you feel that Sam's missing you on play? I mean, I think I think that just collectively we just not connecting. Probably is are our players losing faith in Sam as a quarterback? I don't, I wouldn't really say that, you know. I wouldn't so much say that. Robbie, do you think his uh, limited practice reps this week impacted the timing and the rhythm and so forth? I can't speak for him, no. You have to ask him that. What about you from a receiver standpoint? No, I mean, I, I feel like I think I had two targets. Um, the first one I caught tried to make something happen. The second one late in the game, I felt like I dragged my foot, but you know, that was it for me. Robbie, do, do you... Have you thought about why you all aren't connecting, or why do you think that is? I can't call it. The play before the interception, when Sam was rolling out to his right, and you were sort of in the flat a little bit, and there didn't seem to be anyone around you, and you were maybe five, six, seven yards in front of Sam, and he decided to keep the ball and just run out of bounds. You seemed to get a little upset then as well, because you, you looked like you were wide open, yeah. and you looked frustrated then as well. Do you remember that play? And yeah. Did you say anything to Sam? No, not right, right, not right there, but yeah, I was frustrated. So, so the emotions that we were talking about, what was your message to Sam when you kind of were going back and forth? Did you, did you say anything in particular like that you wanted to get across to him? Uh, I don't know what exactly I said, but it was just, you know, pretty much like, you know, you need to tighten up a little bit. Same way if I'm, if I'm slacking, I need somebody to tell me that, you know, we hold each other accountable, I hold myself accountable, you know, that's part of it, you know, it's part of Somebody being your brother, telling them what they don't want to hear. Sometimes you got to hear that. Same for me. My coach tell me when I'm out there tripping, he tell me tighten up. You feel me? You grown man. How well, do you feel that? Go ahead. How do you feel like that's received when you when you express yourself like that by Darnold? I mean, I keep I keep it a thousand. You know, I keep it real. So respect it or check it. You know. Robbie, would you ever have imagined back in August? You guys are starting the season up and fast forward in November, you guys are losing, but you, you're getting like two targets a game in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, ultimately we lost. You know, I think that that's what bothers me the most, honestly. If we would have won, I had two targets. I'm cool that last week I had one target, we won. Cool, you know what I'm saying? I could go to sleep at night peacefully. Tonight I'm going to be first and I'm going to be upset because we lost. What is the road out of this? Here where you guys have lost four or five. Just gotta keep fighting, you know what I'm saying? To keep working. And what we've been doing, obviously not working, so we keep doing that, you know, that's technically insanity, so we gotta find a new way to work, I feel like, and just find a way to get better. You know what I'm saying? All all across the board, everybody we just gotta collectively do better as a whole so we can get back in the direction we wanna go in, which is win. What change do you think needs to be made so that 
the insanity stops. Just everybody just turn their grind up and work harder. I think that that's the, in, in football, I think sometimes we try and overthink it and it's just focusing on the fundamentals and keeping things basic and, you know, just working harder, putting extra time in the film and all those little things and let it pay off in the long run and playing discipline and don't beat ourselves. One or two more guys, if you have any. Are you are you and Sam good right now? You guys good? Did you guys talk about it a little bit afterwards? No, I ain't talked to him yet, but yeah, we good. All right, thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Thank you, Rob.